Hive State. Okay, so there are a lot of people that are talking about this. A TikTok video that's gone viral of a woman who uh, was basically uh, shown attacking her neighbor. Catherine Smith was caught on camera terrorizing her neighbors. Uh, racist slurs and, and profanities. Uh, she's even yelled at little kids. Very, very disturbing to see. It's been all over social media, yeah. either on X or on TikTok, and we got mm -hmm. word of it, of course, yesterday. Yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and hear from Amanda Gilbert, who gives us a wrap-up. A Midville family is taking legal action after viral video shows one of their neighbors yelling racial slurs and derogatory terms at them when she gets near their home. Take a look. She has no reservation about using the N-word. She has no reservation about using them at children. Not even just in front of children, but directly at them. It's the pain that this family's having to go through after they bought their house. And as you can imagine, uh, social media reaction to this just blew up, literally. Uh, also, Midvale, uh, Midvale City released a statement, uh, but people are pointing out that this woman has a long history and only after a video went viral did something happen about it. You can see what, what's going on with social media right now. Catherine Smith also is a former prosecutor with the state of Hawaii. People are saying all her cases are going to have to be looked at again after something like that. Uh, very, very, very disturbing. Um, and so the question now is what's going to happen next? Uh, one of the things that uh, people are just saying is just outrageous. It's yeah. outrageous that someone on that caliber would do something like that. I mean, awful what she's saying, but there's also warrants for her arrest. Right. Has she been arrested? Why hasn't she been arrested? There's a lot of questions there, and I, I do want to point out, we didn't, like, no one came to us right. and said, hey, you should do a news piece on this. And, and I like what people do, because we can get ahead of something and then, and, and try to come up with that, you know, reporting to back up maybe the reason why some of these things haven't been taken care of. But we're still trying to figure that out because all of this kind of got barraged on us yesterday. And obviously I feel for the family, but I also feel for the neighbors there. I don't know what's going on here with this woman's situation. So I don't want to post too much judgment other than it's, it's horrific of what you've seen. So I, we're going to have to watch this play out. Does it play out next in court? Does, it, does, she, does she finally get arrested on one of those four warrants? One of them is for assault. I did look through her record last night for when she actually makes contact with the mom here and pokes her pregnant belly and, and then says more choice words. It's disturbing all the way around. And it's, it's and age, extremely unfortunate. In this day and age when everybody can basically be a community reporter, record something mm -hmm. and you still see these things happening and one thing i remember a while back uh, a person said that you know it's not that we're seeing more of it it's just that now we're putting it on blast because it's it's happening in certain communities that people are are experiencing unfortunately these kind of experiences but now everybody gets to see the reality of what you know, some people have to go through. I won't lie, though. As somebody who did go through those court documents last night and look at the active cases that are here, it does make you wonder why something wasn't done in the law enforcement realm. And, and I know they're trying to figure out what to do next, but I, too, have questions. And I they'll, do. They'll have to answer those questions yes. yeah. eventually. Hey, let's turn our...